Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to modify an audio file to make it sound like it is coming from a neighbouring room using DaVinci Resolve 16.1.2. Inside your cut window in DaVinci Resolve, press Ctrl and I to open up a file explorer to find the audio file that you wish to use in this project. Press Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. The audio file that I have selected for this tutorial is Blinking Lights by Alexander Nakarada. A link to this particular music file can be found in the video description of this tutorial. Inside your media pool underneath master, left click once on the thumbnail for the audio file that you have inserted into this project. Go to left click once on append below your media pool. Your audio file should now appear on your timeline. Go to left click once on the Fairlight tab at the bottom of your DaVinci Resolve interface. Inside your Fairlight window, ensure that Mixer is selected. Underneath the Mixer heading, you should find the Equalizer tab, EQ. If you don't see this particular section, this may be because your Meters tab is selected also. Left click on this once to deselect this. Since the audio track that I have inserted is in Audio 1, we want to modify the equalizer line underneath A1. Double left click on the EQ thumbnail underneath A1 to open up your equalizer window. Note how bands 1 and 6 are deselected. 2, 3, 4 and 5 appear in red. Hence why we see the circles with these numbers appearing on the blue line on the equalizer window. I'm going to select each of these numbers one at a time, left clicking, holding my mouse button down and dragging these across the equalizer window to rearrange them and to modify the blue line that appears on screen here. Two is now positioned at plus 15, in line with the 500 hertz mark. Five is positioned also at the 500 hertz mark, but at minus 15. Three and four are located on the line parallel with the zero mark. Three is at 250 hertz, four is at 1000. This should create a muffled sound effect for your audio file. In order to reduce excessive muffling and volume, we are going to add a couple of effects to this audio file. Left click once on Effects Library. Underneath Audio Effects and Fairlight Effects, go to left click on Noise Reduction. Hold your mouse button down and drag this to the edit on your timeline representing your audio file. Let go of the left mouse button once your mouse cursor is over the top track and a white outline appears around this edit. Go to left click on the close icon in the top left corner of the noise reduction window. Go to left click on inspector in the top right corner of your Fairlight window. Ensure that the audio edit on your timeline is selected. Left click once so that this is highlighted in red and properties will appear underneath the inspector window including that for the noise reduction effect that you have just added. Left clicking on the red circle next to the effect name deactivates this effect, replacing this section with a grey circle positioned to the left. 
Left clicking once more activates this effect. Go to reduce makeup to minus five. Drag your mouse cursor to the box with the 0.0, .0 value at the end of makeup towards the right of your screen. Left click once, hold your mouse button down and drag your mouse cursor to the left. Or alternatively, left click on the gray circle on the black line and drag this to the left also. Here is a sample of the updated audio file. Return to effects library now, left click once. Underneath audio effects in Fairlight effects, go to left click on soft clipper and add this to the audio edit on your timeline, just as we did with the noise reduction effect. Left click once on the close icon in the top left corner of your soft clipper window. Return to your inspector Scroll down the inspector properties until you can see soft clipper. Reduce the threshold to minus six and reduce the output level to minus seven. Go to left click on either your edit or cut window to preview your updated audio file. Left click once. I'm going to choose the edit window. With the red playhead at the beginning of your project file at zero seconds, left click once on the play icon towards the top middle section of your screen to preview. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.